Good morning and happy Monday. It is Monday, December 21st today, and as you saw, we had some coffee this morning. We. I had made a latte this morning that was so delicious. I haven't had a hot latte in a while. I've just been drinking hot coffee. Um, so it was delicious. And then Nora and I ate some leftover waffles from yesterday for breakfast. And then I just spent some time scrubbing down our kitchen. Riley cleaned it last night, but we had quite a few dirty dishes. And so the dishwasher was full and there was still some leftover. So I unloaded that and got it all reset, wiped everything down. It always feels good to have the kitchen clean. It feels like my life is so much more in order. Nora's just been playing and um, when she plays, it looks like this, which is just happy messes. It's great. She's in the ball pit right now. Can you see her? We've got our humidifier. Hi! Hey, we've got our humidifier going, um, which is definitely helping with the dry skin, dry air situation. So today is Riley's last day of work for 2020, which is really exciting. Um, so we are going to, I'm going to try to do some tidying up here today, and then we're going to go up to his studio and help him finish his last few things for the year. And um, I don't know what we're going to do tonight. I have chicken to make company chicken, which is a recipe I've shared previously. It's a recipe that my mom makes a lot. It's like a chicken bake, um, like the chicken is breaded in herb stuffing and then you pour white wine over it and it's so delicious. So I will totally leave a link to that recipe below when I make it later tonight. So we'll have that tonight, I don't, maybe with like some steamed vegetables or something like that. Um, and that's that. I don't know what else to say. Welcome to our Monday. For those of you who have been watching Vlogmas, look how clean my office still is. You can still see vacuum marks. It's so clean, I love it. This pile is obviously, well I guess not obviously, these are Christmas gifts, specifically Riley's Christmas gifts. He is the worst. He will stand under, sit under the tree and shake every single thing to try to figure out what it is and it drives me batty. I cannot stand it. I don't want him to guess. So I keep them in here until the night before Christmas, Christmas Eve, and then I put them under the tree. So I brought some of Nora's toys in here. I brought her, she loves books. And my mom gave this to her yesterday on our virtual family Christmas. And it is right up Nora's alley. It's this little purse with a zipper. And on the inside, it has a lot of toys that look more like real things than toys. So it has like a little cell phone. Um, and it makes noise if you push the buttons. And some little keys that are much more realistic than like the giant baby keys. And it has a little fake credit card. Nora loves it. She loves taking all of it out. It's really, really cute. This is adorable. Oh, and there's a little fake lipstick. That's the other thing I was trying to find where everything was. Um, it has this little compact and there you go. You can open it up and it has little like foundation with a little powder puff. It's so cute. Let's see what else is in there. Um, and then it comes with a brush and then we just put like a, an old Bible safe gel highlighter and this was the, um, little tag for it, click and play kids purse. You probably got it off Amazon, I'm not sure. Really, really cute. So Nora loves it because it feels like real things, right, rather than toys. Um, let me see if I can find the little lipstick. There's a little fake plastic lipstick that she loves as well. So I'm gonna see if she'll sit in here and play while I get some of these gifts wrapped um, for Riley. All right, let's see, let's see if we can do this. Hey guys, okay, I just got Nora down for her morning nap. She was, you probably saw in the time lapse, I don't know if you could really see it in a time lapse, but she kept crawling into my arms with, I had books in here and she wanted me to read to her. So I was reading to her for a while and then I could tell it was time. So I went ahead and nursed her, rocked her and put her to sleep. Um, and it was really good timing because Riley is getting two Christmas gifts this year and then like some accessories with one of them. So the one Christmas gift is a wood pellet smoker um, for smoking meats. It's like, it's not that big. Um, I mean, it's it's not tiny, but it goes on the back porch. Um, something That's something that he's been wanting for a long time. And then I got him several of the accessories that go with it. Like this is, um, I think it's called a chimney. It's that metal thing that you put. Like, 
like charcoal in or something. I looked up all the accessories. Lighter cubes. And then these are wood chunks. I don't know anything about this, but that's what it was told to me to purchase. So those are the things that I got. And, and um, the smoker hasn't gotten here yet though, but I have all the accessories. So I hope that that arrives in time. There's nothing I can, much that I can do. The second thing I got is something he's been wanting. Another thing I don't know, I even know less about this. Um, he calls it a synth. It is a polyphonic analog synthesizer by the brand Korg. Some of y'all who are musically inclined might know what that is. I do not. I'm trying to see if it'll focus. Um, so, he'll be really excited about this because he thinks that they're out of stock. I, we have a ring doorbell camera um, and I knew this was coming today and I had a sneaking suspicion it was going to come in a box like this so you would be able to see what it was. And so I put a piece of tape over our camera and Riley just texted me. The doorbell just rang. I just got this from the UPS guy. And he said, what in the world is wrong with the ring camera? Is there tape over it? Yes, there's tape over it so you don't know what you're getting. Um, I also got Riley for his stocking um, this Western Frontier... It's, it's a lot cheaper than I was hoping. Um, this Western Frontier calendar, wall calendar. He likes to have a wall calendar up at work. Um, and he loves Western Frontier art, cowboy art, sunsets with horses and cowboys. He like loves that aesthetic. So I found that. For myself, <laughs> when I was buying him his calendar, I was like, I want a ca calendar. I think I'm going to hang it here on my office wall. Um, and I got, Thomas Kincaid does gorgeous Disney paintings, um, but I didn't want his Disney one. I wanted this one. This is just his, he just does beautiful, beautiful paintings. And so it's just his Thomas Kincaid um, 2021 calendar. So I bought this for myself. And I'm really excited about it. Oh. See, I was hoping it would be like in a nicer, that cowboy one is just not that nice, but he won't mind. He'll be excited about the art. So let me show you. It is like the coziest, most beautiful art look. So here's January, February. Okay, my camera um, battery died. February. I love this one. This one is Rainbow Row in Charleston, South Carolina. It's beautiful. This is the same one as what's on the cover. I love it. Right? Yeah. Look how cozy. I just love it. I think it's so beautiful. I would totally pick like my favorite one of these and frame it. Oh, that one's beautiful too. Oh, for July, 4th of July decorations. I love that. I don't know if it's focusing or not. I hope it is. I need to get a new camera, to be honest. This one is, I use it so often and it's just lost its steam. Um, this one's pretty too for August. Oh, I love that, September. It's really, really pretty. October. Oh, that totally reminds me of October. It's, it says autumn in New York. November. Wow, that one's so different than all the others. Riley would love that one. He loves mountain, mountain art. I love beach art. He loves mountain art. I love this sort of like Victorian or this isn't really colonial, but like Victorian times kind of stuff. And he likes the cowboy. Oh, how cozy. Memories of Christmas. I love that. Oh, I'm so happy I got that. I'll link it below. I got it off Amazon when I was getting the uh, other calendar. Oh, I've been there. 
Lombard Street in San Francisco. I've been there. I've, we drove down it. I've been to San Francisco a few times, and one of the times I was with my family. Wow, I love this. I'm totally going to hang this up. I'm really just captured with this art. I just really love it. Anyway, so I got that for myself. Um, okay, I want to wrap this synth for sure, um, and then I need to hide it back here because he is a snoop. He is a snoop. So the way I'm going to do the smoker is once I get the smoker, I'm going to wrap it and then I'm going to put a one on it. And then this is like the chimney thing and I'm going to put a two on it. And then I'm going to put all the other accessories like the wood chunks and the lighter cubes and whatever. I think I got, this is like a magnet that has, um, it's for the smoker and it has like all different meats and things and how long to smoke them for and what temperature and all this kind of stuff. So he'll really like that. Um, so all of the other accessories, I think I'm going to put in like a, I'm going to wrap them in tissue paper like this and then put them in a big gift bag. So that'll be good. Um, and then I already showed you the other day when I went stocking stuff or shopping for our dog, Charlie, our daughter, Nora, and my husband, Riley. Let me respond to him. It's not broken, comma. I put tape over it, exclamation point. I'm trying to surprise you, LOL. Now his birthday is actually December 27th. So when I am Christmas shopping for him, I also have to birthday shop for him and split the two apart. So for his birthday, I um, actually enrolled him in a beer of the month club for the whole year of 2021 starting in January and it is um I the one that I got for this is from monthlyclubs.com it had really really good reviews and I enrolled him in the one that's called the Hopheads Beer Club so it's um, really hoppy beer styles like IPAs, which are his very, very, very favorite. So it says you'll get a variety each month. You'll receive 12, 12 ounce beers from three different, um, breweries. So you'll get four of each and then, um, you'll get IPAs, double IPAs, session IPAs, IPLs, hoppy pale ales, and other hoppy beer styles from two or more breweries. Um, each shipment will also include a monthly newsletter with detailed tasting notes and on and on and on. Um, so he will love that, but it's literally just a piece of paper. So, and he won't get the first one until the end of January. Um, so this is like one part of his birthday gift. The other thing I got him for his birthday is, um, if you guys have heard of goldbelly.com, goldbelly.com is a place where you can order from famous restaurants and bakeries all over the US and they like overnight you food. I first heard about it because when I was pregnant with Nora in my early days of pregnancy, the literal only thing that I ate um, were bagels with cream cheese. And I was talking on a vlog once about how I really miss living on the East Coast specifically because there are so many great bagels there and there are like no bagel shops within 40 miles of where I live now. And I just miss bagels so much. They're like my favorite breakfast food. And they're just bagels from the grocery store, like bought in the little bags are just not nearly as good as like a fresh bakery bagel. And one of my wonderful subscribers named Catherine, hi Catherine, if you're watching, sent me from Gold Belly, um, because she lives in New York, a New York bagel box. If you've been watching for a while, you remember, and it was like a dozen or 14 bagels and some um, cream cheese, and it was like the best gift I've ever gotten. So Riley's favorite, 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 favorite breakfast is um, a Novalox bagel, which is like a bagel with um, cream cheese and salmon, smoked salmon and um, capers and red onions. And sometimes people put lettuce and tomato. People put a variety of different things, but that's like generally what it's like. It is like so not my thing, but it's Riley's favorite thing. So from a bakery in New York, that's called H&H &H Bakery. So my New Yorkers out there can tell me whether that was a good choice or not. This vlog might be going up. Oh shoot, is this going up the day before his birthday? I think it is. I'm probably going to turn off the comments on this one because I don't want him to see any of them and I'll just tell him to avoid um, watching. Yikes. 
Um, and so anyway, we are getting a delivery from Gold Belly from a New York bakery with a Novalox kit and they like put it on ice and like overnight it and he will be thrilled. So he's getting kind of foodie gifts for his birthday. He's getting beer of the month club and that gold belly thing. And then um, for Christmas, I'm giving him these other things. I wanna give him these other things for Christmas rather than his birthday, because I want him to have them for more days so that he can jo enjoy them over his Christmas break. Cause he doesn't go back to work until a couple of days into January. So I want him to have the maximum amount of time. You know what I mean? So I'm not just gonna put it like this. I'm gonna do something, maybe put something heavy in there um, to try to throw him off a little bit or I don't know what else I could do, but I'll think about it. Oh my gosh, let me show you this that I got now. I'm gonna cover up, just gonna cover up the house number on it. Isn't that beautiful? She, she watercolored that, can you see? It's so adorable. So I have a family member who lives in a house that's been in the family for over a hundred years. And so um, I had her watercolor, let me do it from far away. You can't see the house number, so pretty. So I need to wrap that up to give it to that person who will absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm really excited to gift that. Thank you, Emily, it's gorgeous. I know a couple of y'all have sent me messages saying thank you for sharing Emily's shop and that you have ordered um, one of these um, custom watercolor paintings of your homes or of like your children have moved into a new home or you know, whatever the case is, but such a good gift such a good gift and it's not like junk that you don't want to deal with it's like a beautiful beautiful piece of art that's custom to hang on the wall so i just think it's the perfect gift i'm going to figure out how i want to wrap this that's going to be interesting all right i need to get back to wrapping and time lapsing because i can't do both things at once <laughs> but thanks for this little interlude let's get back to wrapping Everything that I needed to wrap, typically I wrap stocking stuffers, but I just texted Riley to ask him whether or not he wanted to wrap stocking stuffers this year, and he said he did not. So that's gonna be a lot easier for me because I have Charlie's Norris and his now, I don't have to wrap any of them. I'll just stuff them in the stocking and call it a day. What I'm gonna work on now is so exciting. We bought Nora a um, bitty baby, a precious little baby doll. And this is the little bassinet crib that goes with the baby doll. And I want to put it together and put a red bow on it so that on Christmas morning it's out for her to play with. So I'm going to, she's still asleep, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on putting this together. I probably need to go find a screwdriver. Yes. Oh, it looks like it includes a little, probably a little janky one, but I could probably make that work. This doesn't seem like it's going to be too hard. So let's build a little baby bassinet. Oh my gosh, look, I put the big red bow on it and this is gonna go under the tree. And I got two little bottles to go with it, so cute. And the sweet little bitty baby. Looks like Norny with the chunky cheeks. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the bitty baby, I got her dressed in her little sleeper. She came in this. Um, and I got her dressed in the little sleeper. This is like my mommy dreams coming true right now. I'm gonna put her back in her little box and wrap it so that Nora has something to unwrap. And then I'm gonna have this unwrapped under the tree, um, the little blankie and um, the bassinet with the cute little mattress and then the two little bottles in there. And so this will be just under the tree and then beside it will be this and this will be wrapped. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's so, so, so cute, look at it. All right, I wrapped up the baby doll and I have the cutie patootie little bassinet here all set up. And so all of this will go out in a few days here. Gosh, I can't believe it's the 21st. So on the 24th, on Christmas Eve, all this will go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this down. I don't know how it's stepping on a variety of different things. Oh, it seems like it's with a command strip. I'm gonna take that down and put that calendar right there because I wanna be able to see it. It's so pretty. 
I love it. I couldn't center it because of the light switch. It would have covered half the life sw light switch, which I will need to use. Struggling, struggling. Um, but I love that. I love that. That makes me really, really happy. And I love that I'll get to flip it for every month. Oh, yay. Okay. Awesome. Now I'm just going to clean up and I'm done. I'm done with Christmas wrapping and shopping and everything for this year. Look what just arrived. Really good timing. I pulled the tape off the ring doorbell. <laughs> so this is what he's getting. Smoky Mountain Cooker Smoker 14 and a half inches. Hopefully he loves it. I think he will. Hey guys, it is 6.30 now. We spent the long afternoon getting everything everything tied up <laughs> everything tied up up at Riley's studio um, and then Nora and I came back here and he went to get a quick haircut before the holidays um, and I had to go to the post office and when I went to the post office I received the most amazing package ever plus a couple of Christmas cards from y'all so let me show you the Christmas cards and then I'll show you the package which made me truly cry when I opened it Oh my gosh, so sweet. So this one is from Ava, and um, she sent me this really sweet note and this really sweet card. You guys are sitting on top of my blender. It says it's the most wonderful time, it's the most magical time of the year. Here I am trying to read in the mirror again. With a really sweet note inside, and then look at this precious family with this precious puppy. Oh my gosh, adorable. And says happy holidays and that's from Jackie, Dustin, and Tony and I'm assuming the puppy is Tony. Look how cute that little pup is. And then this package is from a couple named Cassie and Lance and as soon as I opened it I got so excited because it was in this which is Disney wrapping and when I opened it up she first of all wrote me this long letter, beautiful letter explaining you know that she and her husband have been following my YouTube videos for a long time and a lot about their journey and their story as a couple, which was so incredible. And um, that they went to Magic Kingdom recently and they wanted to buy this for us, which I like, you can ask Riley. He was, he drove me to the post office so I could just run in and he waited outside and I came out and opened it up in his truck and just started crying. It like, this just blows me away. So they had this made for us and then shipped it to us. I can't. Look how beautiful this is. And it says they had it hand painted and it says 2020. It's glass, a beautiful, beautiful glass ornament. And on the back they had it say Nora. <gasps> oh my God. I love it so, so, so much. Oh my gosh. I'm actually going to write on the bottom of it that it's from Cassie and Lance 2020 so we can always remember. Thank you all so much. This is like, Riley, isn't this incredible? Yeah. It was so, so, so sweet. So sweet. Didn't I really cry when I opened it? Yeah. It this is amazing. It was so sweet because we've been in there and we've gotten something from Norris so I could picture it really well. I know. It was so nice. Amazing. So I'm going to write on the bottom who it's from and the year and I'm going to hang it on our tree. Thank you so much. And thank you all for these beautiful Christmas cards too. You know I love to get them. So amazing. So amazing. All right. I wrote on the bottom from Cassie and Lance. My thumb is over their last name plus 2020. Now I'm going to go hang it up on the tree. All right, we found a spot for it on the tree, right front and center, so that we can enjoy it. Love it, love it, love it. And right next door to it is the one that we got for Nora when we went, when we were pregnant. It says Nora 2019. It's the very first thing I ever had her name put on when she was still in my belly. But this is like stealing. Look how beautiful, stealing the show. Love it. Thank you so much, Cassie and Lance. That was such a generous and thoughtful gift. First. We got right over here is 21. All right. You open that? No, this one. Another present and a green. Do 
you oh. like this? All right, Nora just opened up her advent calendar for the day. She's learned what advent calendar is, so Riley will say, Nora, do you wanna go open up your advent calendar? And she'll come right over to it. They're like sponges, sponges. So I was gonna make that company chicken recipe, but we both ate out and whatever. We're not that hungry for that, so I'm not gonna make it tonight. I'll probably make it tomorrow night. But I pulled out two sticks of butter this morning to soften and put them on the countertop, and I'm gonna make a double batch of those peanut butter blossoms. So I think this is now the third or fourth time that I've made them in this Vlogmas. They are my favorite cookie, and they're my favorite cookie to give because people just love them. So I think I'm gonna make those, but, oh, I forgot to tell you, Riley, I wanna run out to the grocery store tonight. Okay. I wanna run out to the grocery store tonight because I wanna go when nobody's gonna be there. And it's so busy during the day, but after about eight o'clock, it settles down. So it's 6.48. So I'll probably make these cookies and then probably head out. Is that okay? Yeah, what are you Stuff for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, your birthday, like the next four or five days. Did you tell them I'm gonna for my birthday? I did. He knows about the gold belly now. I told them what else you're getting for your birthday, too. Really? Yeah. It's so secret that I can even see the front of our house for security. I know. All right, let's make those peanut butter blossoms. The reason why I'm making them is because I want to... Um, can you make sure she doesn't play in the ash? No, no. She loves to stick her no, hand no. in the fireplace. Only when it's not when it's on, she totally stays away from it. Obviously, we supervise her. I am going to um, take a big platter of those cookies up to the post office because those post office workers are working their tails off and they work so hard all year long and I love them so much. They're so sweet to me. And um, I took them cookies not last year because I was super postpartum, but two years ago I did and they really, really appreciated it. So I just want to take them a big bunch of cookies to say thank you. And then I want to leave some for, we have a new mail lady, one she's wonderful. And so I want to leave her some, I want to leave our mail lady a little bag of some homemade cookies with a thank you note because she's obviously done so much for us this year. All of these postal workers are just working their tails off. Um, and then there was one more. The reason why I wanted to make a double batch is because there is more. I might actually make a triple batch. I'm gonna make them in the KitchenAid mixer. How many do you think, how many batches? Probably two only at a time. Anyway, I'm gonna stop yapping and start baking. I just finished with my peanut butter blossoms. I got 48 cookies because I made a double recipe and one recipe makes two dozen with my two tablespoon cookie scoop, which I will link below. I will also link below um, similar cooling racks, which I love these cooling racks. They're stackable. I just didn't stack them this time. And um, my peanut butter measure or honey or liquid measure, it is like yogurt, sour cream, anything like that. It's so much easier to measure in that thing rather than trying to like scoop into a measuring cup and then scoop out. It's 8.15 now, that took me, I think about an hour and a half. I think I started around 6.45 or seven. Um, so maybe like an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half. To make four dozen of them, I'm gonna let them cool for a couple of hours. I'm gonna head out to the grocery store now and um, this is a little trick that my mom used to always do when we were kids, she would always I was the oldest so I wasn't always asleep but she would put my younger siblings to bed with my dad and then like she and my dad would put my younger siblings to bed and then um, she would go grocery shopping and she said she loved it because there were very few people there of course you have to if you're if you don't live in an area where that would be safe don't do that we live in an area that that's safe to do um, and so I'm gonna go and grocery shop and I'll probably be home relatively quickly because it, there's not gonna be very many people there so I'm gonna go do that. 
I'll come back and handle these packaging and whatnot um, once I'm back. But we just need like a top off for, um, it's tomorrow's gonna be the 22nd. So I'm gonna try to get for the next four to seven days. Um, some meat that we can eat off of for dinners, some breakfast foods. We need some more eggs and milk and bread, like basics, um, just things like that. I'm going to make, hello. I'm gonna make some cinnamon rolls for Christmas Eve and Christmas day. So I need a couple of ingredients for that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put on my new sweater sweatshirt from L.L. Bean that my sister got me or Land's End. I always get the two of those confused. Um, she got for me for Christmas. It's so cozy. I'll show you it once it's on and then we're gonna head out. All right, my first L.L. Bean is correct, um, but it is, let me put it up here. It's like a pullover and it has a big pocket and it is this awesome material. It reminds me of, I think it's the Patagonia Better Sweater material. Um, it's just like a really nice thick and the inside is fleecy. Oh my gosh, I love it. It is like perfectly cozy and warm without being too hot. It's funny, ignore our literal mountain of laundry. Um, you've been following along, y'all know. Laundry has not been the priority. When I grew up in Maryland, it was always like trying to find the warmest clothes that you could for the winter. And now it's trying to find comfy clothes that aren't too hot because like today it was 70 degrees, um, the high was 70. So yeah, if, if you're wearing like parkas, you will be sweating. So this is perfect. So I'm gonna pop out to the grocery store. I'm gonna bring you all with me. Cross our fingers that it's super uncrowded. I am the only customer in the store. It's just workers. This is fantastic. Look at this. Amazing. I mean, during the holiday season, <laughs> it does not look like this. <laughs> this is incredible. I haven't done this in so long. O'Reilly asked for olives. Let's see if we can find some. I dislike olives a lot, but he likes them. Let's see. This is what he said he wanted. That seems like a very large jar. This seems like a jar we could actually go through. All right, let's do that. And salsa. Texas, Texas is so good. Ooh, we love this salsa. Mm. All right, I'm gonna get some of that. I got some ribs and these are jalapeno poppers. It's a little treat for Riley. And some fruits and kombucha and things like that for brunches that we'll be having. It's a lot easier to vlog at night than it is in the grocery store during the day, I'll tell you that. Hey guys, I'm back from the grocery store. I've got my Cindy Lou Who hair here still. Um, now it's like 11 o'clock, so we unloaded all the groceries, Nora's in bed, the whole thing. Um, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog now, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Tuesday, December 22nd, I think. Good grief. Yeah, we're only a few days from Christmas. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.